Hi, welcome to another video. I'm Marek Mulaczyk from MarekMulaczyk.com and in this video in Adobe Premiere Pro I'm going to talk about some basics of color correction, color correction 101. So I've got this clip in here, which I'm going to use to make a new sequence and I've made some just this clip so it's actually quite dark and very yellow tinted. It's got this color tint over the entire clip. Okay, I've got another clip in here. Actually, I've got this bin here called Color Correction, so I'm going to move this clip into the bin. There we go. And in here, I've got a couple more clips in here as well. It's got this new sequence, which I'm going to rename to Color Correction to keep it all. Here we go, so I know what is what. Now, when you color correct, first, first of all, what we're going to start with here is making some color corrections by eye. So we're just looking at the clip visually, which means I'll make the program monitor bigger and trying to correct it to make it look better. Now looking at this clip, I can tell the clip is too dark. It's also too yellow. It's too warm. But for, foremost, it should be much brighter and a bit cooler as well. In the past, there have been many effects we used for different color corrections, but it's all been simplified now. It's all in one place now. A panel called Lumetri Color. So go to Window Menu, Lumetri Color. Lumetri Color will open on the right hand side of your screen. Lumetri Color has six sections here. So we've got Basic Correction, Creative, Curves, Color Wheels and Match, HSL Secondary and Vignette. Make sure you have the clip selected. That's what we're going to adjust in here. And typically, you'll be working from top to the bottom. The way these sections have been arranged in Lumetri Color is the way we're supposed to work. So we'll be starting the basic correction first. So let me just make my program monitor even a bit bigger so I can see the clip as big as possible. Not going to worry about the effect controls panel too much. Speaking of the effect controls panel, uh, when you start, so there's nothing here at the moment, but when you start correcting the clip with Lumetri Color, when you start adjusting anything here, Lumetri Color will appear in your effect controls panel as well. And you can just continue working from the effect controls panel, or you can delete it or hide it, and so on. So if I go to Lumetri Color and I open the basic correction, make sure it's ticked, they all ticked by default. First, I want to make this clip much brighter. So I'm going to increase the exposure here. Now let me make this a bit wider as well. So I'm going to increase the exposure to make it brighter. Let's see, let's say if we try maybe one stop, for example, one stop brighter. And notice how the in effect in the effect controls panel will get a Lumetri color here now. This wasn't here before. So I could just turn it off and turn it on. Or I could just select it and delete it, for example. But back to the clip. So the clip is much brighter. We increase the exposure. But let's talk a little bit more about this section here, the basic correction. So first we've got this input light section here. If you shoot with a camera which can register videos with logs, like Red camera, Ari camera, or Fuji X-T3, or Panasonic GH5, or Sony Alpha 7S, for example, you can apply an input LUT, the lookup table. Because no, normally when you shoot with a log, you get a flat footage with very high dynamic range. So you can apply a, a log in here, a LUT, which will correct it. So nothing here, we'll just leave it, ignore it. Okay. Then we've got a white balance. Now this clip definitely needs some work. So for example, what we could do is adjust the temperature, adjust the tint as well. So I know this clip looks a bit warmish, so I'm going to maybe drop the temperature. Now it gets very green, so I could add a bit more magenta. Or what we could do, I'm just going to reset them. So I'm going to double click each slider to reset them back to the default settings, which will be zeros in this case. And instead, I'll use the white balance selector. So I'll click on the white balance selector and I'll click on something that's supposed to be neutral. Like, I guess the head t-shirt is supposed to be white. So I could click maybe here and Premiere will perform color correction automatically. Because I've doctored this clip a little bit, it performed a lot of changes. So the temperature went all the way to the left and the tint went all the way to the right. Okay. Just to make it correct. But let me try find a normal clip. So for example, I've got this clip here. Uh, let's see this one. Yeah, let me just make this taller <laughs> so you see it. So this clip here, which is quite dark, so drop it here on the timeline. Here we go. 
I'll zoom out. Yeah. And I'll make this clip bigger. So I'm going to right click on it and set it to frame size. There we go. So on this clip here, I would make it a bit brighter, not too much. Maybe about a stop as well. Ooh. And I could sample. Now the color seems to be okay, but I can sample with white balance selector maybe from this wall here because this is kind of supposed to be white. So I made some tiny adjustments. The temperature went up a little bit and the tint went down a little bit. As you start correcting your clips in the color panel, you can use this FX button at the top to turn it on and off. So I can see before and after, before and after. Okay. <clears throat> so as you adjust the clip, then we've got a tone section. So good exposure, which we have used before. Now contrast, I guess we could do a bit more contrast in here. It's a bit more contrasty. Then we can work different tones within the clip. Highlights, shadows, whites and blacks. So the highlights could be a little bit lighter or darker. Look at the wall on the left hand side, so I could brighten it up a bit. Shadows, like his shirt, could be lighter or maybe even darker or lighter. Depends what you want to do. Whites and blacks, which will be the lightest and darkest pixels in the clip. So the whites could be brightened up a bit. And the blacks could be darkened just a tad. Just a little bit. So maybe about minus one. Okay, just a little bit to make blacks even darker in here. At any time, you can reset all the adjustments. You can supply auto adjustment in here. Okay. And you can also perform the saturation adjustment here. So you can add maybe a bit more saturation to this clip. Not too much. So do just a little bit. Got the skin tones. And that's our before and after so far. Okay. That's applied to this clip in here. Okay. As you perform basic corrections and you move on to creative, one of the things you can do in creative section is you can create a look of the clip. Now that's where we get into color grading. With color corrections and color grading, because people often ask about the difference between these two, color correction is when you're trying to make the clip look correct. So for example, this clip before was way too yellow, way too dark as well. So we're correcting the clip, okay? Now, when you start applying different looks to the clip, you color grading it. Think, say, Matrix, for example, which also appears in here. This is color grading. We grade the clip with certain look for certain color. Okay. And that's the color grading. That's different from the color correction. And we have lots of different presets in here for different grading. Some of the very popular effects that have been used in films for many, many decades, like the gold tobacco, for example, for more Westernish films. There are also more cooler ones. And there's also black, black and white ones, like SL Noir HDR, for example, a black and white effect. When you apply color grading, you can also just use these arrows on the sides of this preview window to see what the effect is going to look like before you apply it. And you apply it by clicking on the preview window here. Do keep in mind that the preview scene here is the preview of the original clip. So if you made a clip much lighter, much darker, much more contrasty, it's not going to look exactly the same as the preview in here. But you can just use that to preview different effects. If you actually apply them, you get a preview. So, you, for example, maybe a bit more ironish color or gold western. Here we go. So, just click to apply it. As you apply this color grading, you can also adjust the intensity. So, you can make it less intense or more intense. Okay. You can also adjust the sharpening. You can fade the film as effect as well in here. So, you can make it a bit more faded. And we can maybe add a bit more vibrance. Now, vibrance and saturation, they're quite similar. But where they differ is vibrance is more subtle than saturation. With saturation, you'll be making everything more saturated. With vibrance, you only make the colors which are not highly saturated already more saturated. So in this case, I would use the vibrance because the skin tones as well. We could also add some tint to shadows and highlights. So you could make 
say shadows a bit more bluish and and highlights maybe a bit more yellowish and what you can do is as you move this cross it moves very slowly if you want to make it move faster just hold shift key on the keyboard this allow you to make it move much faster or what you can also do so these are getting more bluish these shadows here you can also just click in the color wheel to apply the shadow tint and the highlights could be even more say yellowish okay. at any time if you don't like it you can always just uh, disable creative for example you can also adjust the balance of the tint in here mm -hmm. now as you adjust the color the clips if i just close creative for a second as you perform basic correction you can also use curves instead of basic correction so for example if I remove this lumetric color, so I'm going to go to Effect Controls panel, highlight it, or just delete it. That's our original clip. If I go to lumetric color now, and I'm going to go straight to curves, okay? And in here, curves are also some of the newer features in Premiere. We use the white circle for the overall clip. Bottom left corner are the darkest pixels, top right corner are the lightest pixels. So we could make the blacks and shadows lighter or darker. So I'll turn them down a bit. But the highlights could be brighter or darker. So I'll make the highlights brighter. Maybe the so we've got black uh, we've got blacks, shadows, mid-tones, highlights, and whites. So you can make the mid-tones brighter as well. So you can drag it up to brighten them up. And maybe the darker parts could be a bit darker. So I'm going to drag it down a bit which also adds a bit more contrast with these anchor points on your curve at any time you can delete them you can just hold the control key on windows or command key on the mac and you get the minus so you can just click to disable it in here okay. so this is just another approach to adjusting your clip making your clip look uh, different or look better okay. now there's a lot in the metric color just one more thing i want to show you here for this video is applying so if i go back to this clip for example applying a vignette so if i go down to the bottom with the vignette i'm going to talk more about the curves in another video okay just so you know and i can darken the corners or brighten the corners so say we'll darken the corners i'm going to exaggerate just so you can see what it looks like we can move the midpoint so i can bring it closer to the center or far away from the center maybe just a third we can adjust the roundness of the vignette as well, so you can make it more rounded. And we can further, or remove the further, on the transition between the highlights and the shadows. I could do maybe something like that. This can also add certain look to your video clips. Vignettes are very commonly used in horrors, for example, to make it even scarier to look. So this is just the 101 for the Lumetri color for color correction, just the basics. I'm going to make another video next, but this will do for now. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and you can start making your clips look better on your timelines. And I hope to see you another video clip. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mularczyk from MarekMularczyk.com and hopefully to see you soon again. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.